up everybody 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys if you guys don't already know got the pellet grill right here pretty sweet uh, real easy to use love it using some tr uh, competition blend pellets right there and I have the uh, Traeger really nice smoker and I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a little bit of uh, ribs today and control it with my phone and be right here the great thing about these is you really don't have to babysit the fire you're just here you can go on about your day and the food comes out pretty damn good guys i still have my old school smoker but this thing comes out especially when it's super hot right now in the summer you don't want to be standing outside all damn day so with this video we're going to go ahead and talk about my algae turf scrubber and i hope you guys get your grill on sometime today as well the first thing that i want to mention is i got a screen you can pick these screens up at walmart or uh, your hobby crafts store i ended up picking this one up scratched it as much as possible i have some scissors right there i used it scraped it some people will get this thing and drag it on the concrete um the rougher the better i ended up having to do redo my screen because the one that i had from uh, santa monica filtration because that's the brand of algae turf scrubber that i have um it really i messed it up because the screen cracked um and then right here on this mod right here it is i had to end up cutting it because the way that it was leaked um, tilted over there on the side it was just not uh, great so I ended up cutting it down a little bit the algae just wasn't growing I had thought about trying to keep it as simple as possible by just having a chato I ended up getting some chato from a local reefer that didn't work out for me so I was like you know what man when I had my algae turf scrubber running on my reef tank um, it was, my tank was pretty pretty successful because the algae turf scrubber did a lot of the work for me i also had this tank plumbed into one pump my return pump was a ecotech return pump um, i just didn't think it had enough power so i ended up taking it off and put it its own little uh eheim pump right there it's one of those quiet pumps i i just rigged up something i pretty much shoved everything in there made it work and I think the flow is a lot better right now. It just started, but I'm gonna fast forward it and show you a recent video of where I'm at. To me, it's pretty crazy how expensive the algae turf scrubbers have gotten. Um, you can do a straight up homemade algae turf scrubber, very, very successful, or you can buy one. Um, this one I did get from Santa Monica Filtration. They hooked it up and uh i've been using it ever since it's been on and off of my roof tank but uh i'm going to go ahead and keep it on there as you can see it does have some uh little brown spots on the middle of the screen for some reason i'm not able to uh, grow but at least the screen is turning more brown because eventually the algae will will grow there everywhere else that thing is taking off it's growing really well and to be honest my screen is probably way too huge for this algae turf grower but i'm gonna have it all filled up i don't change it out and clean it out every week like um santa monica filtration suggests but i did um clean it out today uh, let you leave a little bit on there and then after that it'll go ahead and start growing back like you just saw i'm curious to see how many of you guys are running algae turf scrubbers and would you run it or if you're doing uh, just the good old chato in the uh, refugium but there it is it's nice and clean um, another problem that i do have with my algae turf scrubber is it sprays a lot of water it sprays a lot of water so all this the glass right there on the sump is like always filled with salt creep i tightened that bulkhead right there so what i'm going to do is get these little pads out spray them down recycle them with the you know water hose and then with this texas heat since it's so hot this summer i'm just gonna let it out air dry and go from there it's not too shabby of the uh 
you know, the growing of the algae. I use that frag disc right there to scrape the screen. And I'm pretty happy with the amount. It could do better, but at least it's not growing inside of my tank. I ended up getting some of this algae from the algae turf scrubber and feeding it to my tanks. I didn't see them eat it, but I did throw it in the tank. So hopefully they like the little tree right there of the natural algae. My protein skimmer is a pretty legit protein skimmer. It's an Aquamax FC280. And this thing is pretty awesome. It pulls out all kinds of junk, easy to adjust. And I've had it for quite some time. I got it back when I was in the Marine Depot Ambassador. And uh, I got it for a great deal. If you can get your hands on an Aquamax skimmer, maybe a used one, I'd highly recommend them. They're not very expensive and they're very, very effective. Look at this crap that I got. All this skimming is pretty amazing. It's really good. It's about a week's worth and my wife gets upset every time I clean it in the laundry room because it stinks up the whole entire house. Man, this thing is awesome. I love it and there's nothing like a good protein skimmer that you can um, depend on. I don't know what kind of skimmer you guys have, but I highly recommend the Aquamax. Go ahead and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're using because this thing is a beast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reef tank. I have a 150 reef tank. Every time I mess around with the algae turf scrubber, the tank always gets cloudy. And right now I have a filter sock on it. I like using the mesh filter socks. They're easier to clean, I think and they just dry a lot more quicker. Um, I've been using the mesh filter socks for quite a while and uh, really, really recommend them. Check out this tank, man. I only have one to two fishes in here. I lost um, a lot of fishes. I lost my hippo tang. Um, I lost one of my clowns and I, I don't know what happened to them. I don't know why, but I, I ended up losing them. I've been kind of scared to get any more new fish. Uh, the purple tang, he is pretty active, swims around quite a bit, and is a healthy eater. Um, you can see right here that he's actually eating some of the algae that I threw in from my turf scrubber, just chasing that thing around. The rest of the tank is sliming up, um, so I got a turkey baster and I've been uh, basting the rocks, getting whatever debris. Hopefully it goes into my uh, filter sock. Trying to clean up my tank. Um, um, as far as my water change schedule, I've been doing like 20 gallon water changes every two weeks. So every two weeks I'll go ahead and do a water change. I was doing 20 gallon water changes every single week, but I decided to go ahead and slow it down to every two weeks. Just going through a lot of water that way and uh, I really didn't see that much of a difference. Um, you can kind of see cyano a little bit, but I mean, I'm going to still continue doing my water changes every two weeks, which is also why I'm hoping this algae turf scrubber gets up to speed so it'll help me out by supplementing my, my tank without having to do water changes so frequently. All right, guys, catch me on the next video, guys. Take it easy.